to our example. So we can see that I've command at my table at idle here, I'm right around zero degrees. And as I start to go up in RPM, I start to command more a cam angle. We can see that I'm in, this was a naturally aspirated engine because zero PSI was my highest breakpoint. These breakpoints in the table are configurable. If we were in boost, we could uh, change these to positive values. But because this was NA, I kept it uh, with more resolution in my vacuum condition. Now, if you look in the table, we can see that my uh, typical uh, RPM uh, band here, so from 3,000 RPM to about 6,000 RPM, uh, and from about four inches of vacuum down to negative 10, I had about 30 degrees here in my cruising condition. And this is going to be uh, the most ideal uh, cam angle target for our cruising because this is going to give us uh, a bit of overlap and it's going to reduce the pumping losses and it's going to increase the efficiency of the engine. So we're going to have less throttle input, more torque, use less uh, fuel because we have less air mass coming in because we have less throttle input. So by doing our cam angle right around 25 to 35 degree range at part throttle, it's going to allow us to have the most optimal uh, 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 combustion and, and volumetric efficiency and, uh, and achieve the best fuel economy by utilizing uh, that range of cam angle movement. Now, once we go to our full throttle here, we can see that as I go up in RPM here from 3000, I increased it to 40 degrees max, and then I started to roll it back up top here we can see that it starts to come back here to 30 degrees. And this was found doing dyno pools. Uh, my method for tuning this particular example is I set the whole table at zero. And then, uh, so if I set it at zero, then I went in and I locked it at 10 degrees and I made a pool. I looked at my torque curve then I locked it at 20 degrees, did a pool, looked at my torque curve, did it at 30, did it at 40. And then I figured out uh, using on my overlay on my dyno, I figured out where my maximum torque was at whatever cam angle versus RPM. Then I set that blend table so that you see, we jump back into that table, the way this table is set up here at full throttle, I was most optimal at 3,000 at 30, and then I held 40 degrees between uh, 4,000 to 7,000, then it dropped back here up top right around 30 degrees. So that was my overall broadest torque curve by setting all of these cam angle targets. So um, 